And the true picture is that we are performing extremely well compared to Jubilee in 2017. If you look at the by-elections that we just did, we have been able to take Musabweni, which was predominantly, the entire coast was predominantly an ODM zone, 2017 and even prior. We went to Western. I want you to go and check how many votes Uhuru Kenyatta got in, uh, in Kakamega and also the votes he got in Bugoma. You realize that he got, uh, actually in Kakamega, he, I think he got around 4%. Bugoma, he got a little more, but if you look at the percentages, we actually got much higher percentages in both Kabuchai and also in uh, Matungu than we got in 2017 when President Uhuru Kenyatta was vying for the presidency. Uh, I also, if you go to Machakos, Machakos is interesting. Uhuru Kenyatta got 17% vote in 2017. We were able to get around uh, or close to 20%. And therefore, comparatively, UDA is performing extremely well in regions where Jubilee actually got almost nothing. As I finish, if you look at uh, the other parties, our competition, and especially those who uh, won the recent by-elections, you know, those parties are run by village elders. They are run by gatekeepers. UDA is the only party that has been able to um, uh, to, to have candidates in all those other constituencies and in all those other counties because we are building a national party. And when you are building a national party, you do not become a gatekeeper of the region that is perceived to be predominant, predominantly your stronghold. You go to every part of the country. And that is why we want to uh, say that UDA has been performing very well you remember here, in the, even in Moranga, Jubilee was defeated in the by-elections that uh, we had. And uh, we believe that even much better things are on their way. Again, UDA is only a three-month party. That is why we actually have some of the people even here in Moranga who vied through other outfits. But they are, of course, they were, they were UDA, so to say, or they were hustler nation. And... Being a three-year-old, three-month-old party, and it's being able to give a headache to almost everyone politically. We have never seen such a party in the entire of our uh, country's history, where we have to see amalgamation of all the other village parties coalescing around each other with the help of deep state and uh, the system, and we still defeat them like we did in London. That is extremely commendable. Jubilee, as we know. And as we believe, is a party of the past. And therefore, do not think you will threaten anyone by purporting you want to, to remove the deputy president. You are removing to something that is neither here nor there, a non-entity. And therefore, you would have done it like yesterday. Don't even announce to anyone, go ahead. You have been running this Jubilee party as a family affair. Go and check who the signatories of Jubilee parties are. One of them who is a must sign is not an official, but a relative of the leadership of Jubilee party. Jubilee party has been run like a family kiosk. You withdraw 20 million every month, you divide among family members and some fellows within Jubilee. Please, mukure yo pesa pole pole, na muachane na sisi. You removed that from all committees in parliament 